right, we're gonna go ahead and eat a bacon and egg, and we're going to go ahead and drink this water. And we'll eat one piece of meat, and we should be good for the time being. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days. It's the morning of day number six, and in today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and clear out this job here that we got from Trader Wrecked. Um, I did a little bit of updates to the base as you guys can see here. I put in some bars so that way uh, once we do basically uh, get inside and we need to get from one place to another, we could basically just, you know, jump, o jump on over from this side and get all the way over here. Now what I might do instead is I'm kind of worried about the spider monkeys and how far they jump. Um, for when they start getting in inside of here So that's a little bit of a concern um, So what we might do instead is I might take these up here and I might just create like a little doorway here and just kind of block this off and This will just be the entrance way for us to get in and out of that area I'm not sure if I want to oh crap. I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and make this area the storage area like for all of our stuff um, I'm not sure if I want to do it that way or if I want to make this section you know that area but it looks like it's probably gonna be more this side if I do do anything of that like put the workbenches and forges and stuff like that most likely it's gonna be over here because we could just basically wall this stuff off real quick make a doorway and everything is pretty much protected you know um so i think that might be the best route for us to go um but we'll do that later let's go ahead and get a move on to this job here and get this done real quick and then uh we should have more than enough time to get some work done in the base later on tonight now I'm gonna dig up some clay soil real quick because we did run out last night. Um, I did go ahead and go out in the middle of the night to get some more, which we ran into a couple zombies, not a big deal. Um, I, kill, I killed like two more deer like that. That's why you saw like a big stack of, of meat in my inventory. Um, but I'm gonna get some more clay soil real quick just so we're kind of ahead of the game a little bit here. And I just passed that hole, I did. And uh, that way we can make some more clay soil later on tonight and we can, can we can continue our production. Um, all right, I can't repair that right now, so let's just get to digging. Now, you're probably wondering why I just don't, you know, continue to dig a pit a little bit deeper into the base. That's because when I did go ahead and dig up the ground there, it only gave me sand. It didn't give me clay soil, you know? Because if it, if it was giving me clay soil, I would just be digging the pit deeper and deeper. You know what I mean? But it's not giving me that. It's only giving me sand. So right now, the best bet is just digging up what I can find outside for the time being until, um, you know, it starts giving us, you know, clay soil, which I don't think it is. It's, all, it's pretty much going to go all the way down to bedrock. Um, so the best thing for me to do at this point is just to go ahead and just basically keep digging outside so we can get the clay soil we need. I left all my nine mil. What was I thinking? Um, let's go back. I do want to get my nine millimeter ammo. Because there's a good chance that we might use it and need it in case we're in a bind. Because what happened with that dog last time, I don't want that to happen again. And if we end up getting in that situation without a gun, we're pretty much screwed. Well, it looks like we don't have any 9 mil. I guess uh, we used it all for the horde. What it looks like. Well, that's not good. Guess we better bring down the shotgun shell because that's pretty much the only ammo we got at this point um 
Got plenty of stone, so I'm just going to go ahead and craft some cobblestone while we're here. Go ahead and get that moving. And uh, we'll keep the MVGs on us just in case. Um, I think we're going to need the wood. We'll leave the animal fat and stuff. We got 40 arrows. I guess that's what we're going to have to use for weaponry and this uh, shotgun. And we're just going to have to hope that we don't run into anything that's too dangerous. Post mailbox here. Anything good? All right. Got a blade mod schematic. Armor piercing arrows. Armor isn't any good if the arrow can't pierce it. Learn how to craft steel arrows and bolts. Very nice. This is a different looking police station. Looks like it's wide open too. NPD 3rd Division. Interesting. We've got to come check out that place at some point. Oh, it's the dead rooster. We just looted this place. Nice. We'll reset the POI and we'll get all that meat. Yeah, see, the pipe shotgun is good for that. Oh, what the? Pipe shotgun is good for not getting that type of hit, but it's good for that initial, uh, let's just let him out. Um, that initial heavy blow, right? Close quarters, that's what it's good for. You know what I mean? Oh, we got some 762. That's pretty good. That's, uh, this on down here. Go ahead and load that up. And we'll just use it on this chicken because I feel like it. Wait. The chicken already gone? Oh, yes. I just wasted a bullet. Well, then I'll use it on you then, chicken. Is that his head right there? Yeah, I think it is. Alright, job's done. Well, these crawlers don't count. I mean, they're, they're still alive. Oh, that's strange. I would think that the crawlers would count, you know? Guess they don't count them as being zombies in this POI. I got a tier 2 knife. It's nice. Let it modify. Take that out. Let it modify you. Put you back in. I'm gonna go ahead and repair you. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap you. And there we go. Let's take everything else. You got some uh, nine mil. That's good. Probably antibiotics, a split, and steroids. Not bad. Can use that in case we get infected at some point. Taking a lot of hits today, so I wouldn't doubt it. More 7.62. Very nice. Alright. All good stuff. Hey, what's up, Wrecked? Oh, nothing to say, huh? That's fine. First job was for free. No, we didn't agree to that. This is all I can spare. All right, so you got a Grave Digger mod. I can use that for my shovel. Or you got 10 pieces of duct tape, which is pretty valuable. You also got 60 rounds of shotgun shell, which, uh, I mean, would go good with a better shotgun. Yeah, let's go with the duct tape. Because we can always buy a Grave Digger mod, you know what I mean? Let's see what other jobs you got here, Wrecked. Got to clear zombies. Got to fetch. Uh, yeah, let's do a clear. I don't like you. You better not fuck this up. Or I'll let's see uh, what kind of throat. monies you got here. Or pfft, I got the monies. Let's see what what kind of stuff you got in your inventory here. You got a tier five axe. That's that's pretty good. It does a significant more amount of damage when you level up your your uh, your tools. 
from what I've noticed. I'm gonna buy those knife guy books. A sale is a sale. All right. Even if it's let's uh like you. get a move on. Let's go ahead and put on this chest armor. Read these knife guy books. So we got quality level two. Uh, let's see if we have any skill points to spend here. We got two of them. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another point into agility. And we're actually going to go gunslinger. I'm not gonna go knives just yet because we are rocking the pistol and I do want to try to get that as strong as possible and when we do get another two skill points what I'm gonna get, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna go another point into agility and then we're gonna go into deep cuts now once we do that we should also have the second level of parkour unlocked so once we get that unlocked we'll be able to basically jump a little bit higher. And that is going to basically save our butts most of the time. Anyway, there's another dog kennel there. <laughs> I was going to say, if we loot that, uh, that mailbox, it'll probably attract it. I don't want to play with fire right now. All right, well, let's start it up. Wonder what's gonna be uh past these gates over here. The main concern is the dogs. I mean, for now, until you know the zombies get harder, of course. But that's my main concern. There is a kennel back there. Don't is that a person's leg? Looks like it. I don't see that dog. Might be laying on the ground somewhere. Let's wake some of these guys up. Maybe it'll wake the dog up. Well, the dog's not awake. Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, maybe there's just no dog here. I don't know. Whoops. Let's, uh, I guess let's go back the proper way. Go through the front here. Come on out. Alright, got another skill point. Be able to use that in just a second. Close that door. Ooh, got some golden raw tea and red tea. That's good. Turkey water. Got a cooking pot. We don't really need that anymore. some monies, lead, pipes, more pipes and sand, ooh, some lockpicks, that's nice, uh, don't need the seed, we'll take the cloth, everything pretty much stacks, that we just got, so we're good, that's empty, uh, more cement. We'll go ahead and scrap those because we can just make them. We don't need to take them. Fill up our inventory. Um, and yeah, we can get plenty of sand from mining in the pit. So no concerns there. Blue. Bone. Six bucks. Yeah, I guess we'll take it. 
All right, all dead. All right, let's uh, pop this open. Did we get anything good? All right, got some uh, harvest tool crafting. Stone, uh, stone axe quality to level two or quality level three, actually. We're gonna read that. We're gonna take that. Oh, that's nice. Tier level five. Um, we'll go ahead and scrap that. Did we already have just five bullets? I think it did. It kind of looked like it gave us the ammo out of the gun for a second. I was going to say, that's pretty sweet. All right, so we got a tier level three axe here. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and scrap the level two, and we will go ahead and repair the level three. And we are getting hungry, so it's getting a little late. So let's go ahead and head back to uh, Trader Racks. Let's turn in this job. Hopefully we get something good for a reward. And you know what? I'm just going to go around. I just don't trust backyards anymore. <laughs> I mean, why would I? Backyards is usually where dogs are. Now, one thing that this series has been really teaching me how to do is definitely how to be more cautious, right? Because when you're playing on survivalist difficulty, it's not the hardest difficulty, but it's definitely harder than warrior difficulty, you know? And it's significantly harder. Like, you can't come up against dogs and face them head on. I mean, you might win if you have a good weapon, but it's pretty tough. What's up, Wrecked? Everything's for sale. Well, of course it is. Here, boys. We got All right, 100 pieces of 9mm. There's no question about it. I'm going to take the ammo. Paid. Ah, here we go. So we can get two water filters, or we can get the bicycle. I'm going to go with the bicycle. We've got an ammo crafting bundle too, but I'm going to go with the bicycle. Because we're going to need transportation. I've got just and we can open enough. up this trader route here. Make me regret this. Let's see where that's going to take us. Oh, here we go. All right, we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, we got 3300 bucks. Let's see what kind of stuff you got wrecked. I already looked through this stuff, but I do want to get some of the handgun magazines. start getting that we're gonna go ahead and buy some of the cooking books too even though they're pretty easy to find but that's all right um, I'm actually gonna grab a water filter off of you let's do that be it'll be good for there. us to get a, a water supply going at some point let's head on home and let's drop some of this stuff off and I think we'll go ahead and just stay in for the rest of the evening and just go ahead and do some mining of some stone and some clay soil uh, just so we can have some more cobblestone and we'll go ahead and finish some upgrades to the base. All right, so we got a little bit of stone, iron, and clay soil here, so that should be good for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and grab our cobblestone here just so we can be able to get that uh, going here and start doing a little bit more upgrades to the base uh, when it comes to the foundation and I think we're going to go ahead and start digging a little bit further down into the pit now I'm thinking about um, basically redoing the little cage that we have set up there um, I ran some tests and I think the cage setup that we have right now with the type of blocks we have is no good um, because we won't be able to I mean we could throw Molotovs and stuff like that you know if we back up far enough that should be fine but 
the zombies actually hit uh, through these bars way too easily, you know? So I'm thinking about doing something a little bit different, which I should be able to show you a little bit later. Um, let's go ahead and get these upgrades going. I want to go ahead and repair this real quick. And then uh, we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so eventually we are going to have to cobblestone this stuff up right here. Um, but I think we're just going to leave it for now. And uh, I do want to basically break open this way after we dig a little bit deeper down here. Um, so we can leave this cobblestone here, of course. Uh, but this we are going to have to start filling in. Um, I think what we'll have to do is start filling it in like so after we, you know, update it to cobblestone in here, whatever it needs cobblestoning, which I believe we could do that now. Uh, yeah, that's concrete. There we go. And uh, I think it's going to be filled in like this. We can at least start the process there. And then going forward, I mean, we could try to knock this out. I mean, it's it's all concrete, so we're going to need a better pickaxe in order to do that. Um, or we could just not worry about it, you know. I do want to go ahead and cobble up these windows. But when the hordes do start getting a little bigger, I don't want them to see these little window areas as a way to get in so we'll just do that real quick not worried about up there that should be fine um yeah so the idea here is just to fill all this in i think i'm going to use that little area that room over there as storage so we could put more of our stuff and then you know obviously block it from the zombies having a way to get over there. tonight shouldn't be an issue oh I'm crouched I was running I, why couldn't I jump there all right so just wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna end up doing with this here because these bars are not the best but here's what we're gonna end up doing instead of putting up those bars 
All right. Go ahead and get our frames. Repair this while we're at it. That's our money. That's not our frames. Here we go. So what we are going to use is we are going to use these bars right here. And it's pretty simple how to use them. Let me uh, do the rotation. So, all right, so that part's done and we're gonna jump over here and we're basically going to close it in. All right, there we go. So this should keep us protected the whole way around. Um, this will prevent, you know, any zombies from trying to get in. And then we can also Put like a hatchway here just in case you know for some reason uh, if a spider monkey get, gets up here somehow and they jump over or maybe they break in some other way for whatever reason we could just keep ourselves protected here you know so that's the idea but yeah this over here i'm gonna make that into storage i've kind of made up my mind there and then we're just gonna go ahead and seal off this particular room. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're pretty much gonna go from there. I'm just gonna knock this out here and then I'm going to leave it open and available for when we, we wanna go ahead and make it as a little bit of a way for the zombies to go through this door here or to go through basically a doorway to put them back into a loop. And I'll pretty much work on that tonight. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing more. Thank you guys for all your support, and I will see you guys on the next episode.